Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, to all of my returning YouTube family and friends. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Teresa, and I am so glad you guys decided to join me today. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a plan with me in my happy planner for the plan with me design group. And this is going to be for the week of October 23rd through the 29th, which is the last full week of October. Oh my goodness, this means we're like two months away from Christmas. <laughs> I just, it blows my mind because the 25th will be two months. So, oh my gosh. Um, and like I was saying, I am a member of the Plan With Me Design Group, which is an awesome group of planners. We love to share our passion with planning and all things planning, as well as just support and encouragement to each other and each other's channels. And I will have down below in the description box a link for all of the other members of the Plan With Me Design Group. And I do encourage you to go and check out their channels, guys. They are just amazing. I can't stress enough, and I say this every week, and I know those of you that, that probably watch every week get tired of me saying this, but I learn so much by watching other um, plan with me's and I just get so many wonderful ideas. I get um, so many inspirational ideas. So if you love planning, I do encourage you to go and check out some of their channels, you guys. You will not be sorry. So um, what I've decided to do today is I'm going to be using another kit and this is going to be from DEK Designs and I will also have a haul video going up today showing this kit um, and this is going to be the Falling for Fall kit and DEK Designs is very similar to Etsy. They are the planner stickers. These are specifically for the Happy Planner. They do make the stickers for the Erin Condren Life Planners as well. And they also make the Happy Planner mini planner kits, which will work in my Webster's Pages personal planner. So I am super, super excited to be using this kit. This is the first kit I've actually gotten for a Happy Planner. So I am really excited to use this. So let's go ahead and jump on in. And they do give you washi. They do give you two strips. And um, it is, I believe it's for the bottom, bottom pages and the top. But I also did pull in some other um, washi as well, just in case, because you guys know I love using washi. But I pulled in this green, um, washi from the Dollar Tree with the different leaves and leaf patterns and I thought the green would go really well with this kit. Um, I just love this little sticker with the dog but I just thought that green went super super well and then I also pulled in some of this um, plaid that I got in the uh, in a box of 45 from Michaels when they used to be $10, as well as this leaf washi and this um, thankful, it says thankful or be thankful. Um, I'm not sure what all it has, but I may use, I may not use this one of this one. I may use this in my, yeah, it just says be thankful on it. And it's kind of like a cream or off white, just a really pretty, um, color and this also came in that pack of 45 rolls of washi from Michaels again when it was ten dollars so I did go ahead and pull those but let's go ahead and get started with laying down these washi strips here so like I said I'm really excited to be using this because I've never gotten a sticker kit that was specifically made for the Happy Planner. So I'm really excited and I'm not sure this is gonna go. Okay. So you guys are gonna have to bear with me here a little bit because I'm not exactly sure how this washi is gonna fit and I probably should have played with it a little bit, but I figured that would take away the fun for you guys. <laughs> 
So I hope everybody has had a good week this week. Um, we did get Dad home um, Tuesday. He um, came home. He still has all of his staples in his incision on his leg and groin area. And um, those will be coming out, I'm hoping, on Thursday. That's when we go back to see the surgeon. And then, um, until then, he does have, well, not until then, but until he's better, we do have um, physical therapy coming in twice a week, as well as a visiting nurse twice, one, one to two times a week. They're, they're not really sure um, how many times they will be coming um, a week for the visiting nurses, but um, just to make sure he is still doing well and... Um, so, so far so good. He is in an extreme amount of pain um, from the incision, not as much from the incision. I mean, he does obviously have some pain from the incision, but the pain is primarily in his leg, like the, the calf down to the foot. And the doctor said that's really to be expected because there has been no blood flow in that leg and foot for months. So basically, um, that is just, he said it would be very painful once that blood flow started um, flowing into the leg and the foot. So other than that, um, he's doing pretty well. Um, So far, so good with the feeling and the blood flow. Um, oh, this is going to get... Uh, I bet you this goes over here. Um, so, yeah, the doctors, are, his vascular surgeon has been very happy so far with the recovery. And um, very positive. Like he said, though, um, we don't know how long that the blood flow will maintain Um in that leg since it is so bad um, but you know at this point it's better than nothing you know I mean he he um, might not have a leg you know so um, we'll take what we can get at this point you know and the vascular surgeon did say that why isn't this Hmm. Well, that's kind of weird. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to pull this back up. On this side, because I want to use the same washi for the top. So let's see here. Um, oh my gosh, these come up so nicely, you guys. These are the matte repositionable. So, wow, I'm really impressed with how nicely that comes up. So I'm just going to put this back down and I'm going to use that leaf, the green leaf washi at the top for now. Then I will figure out what to do with this one. And I may use it in my personal planner, so we'll see. All right, so let's grab this one. But anyway, the um, doctors are really happy with everything, and he did say that left leg is going to need it soon, too, but he wants to get him through this one before he goes slicing on the other leg because it will need um, a bypass on that side, too. So, fingers crossed, everything stays on target, on track, and my dad wanted me to pass along to everyone a huge thank you for your continued thoughts and prayers, and he is just super, super thankful to everyone um, 
you know, like he said, there's never too, there's never, there's no such thing as too many prayers. So he said to let you guys know he appreciates it very much. And I do as well. My whole family does. So. And his little dog, Jenna, was super excited to see Dad when he got home Tuesday. She ran around his neck about 25 times, squealing and crying the whole time. <laughs> she just is, she is something else. And the funny thing with Jenna was, she, John bought her for me back in 2006. And she was about nine months old when we got her. And, um, um, she, um, she was always mine until my dad retired. And once he retired and he was home, she started spending time with grandpa and Ever since then, she has become Grandpa's girl. <laughs> so, and I don't mind because he, you know, he spoils her rotten, literally. And Jenna is the perfect purse dog. She only weighs like five pounds and that's pushing it but she's something else she just cracks me up okay so let's go ahead and I'm not sure if I'm going to use these I think I'm going to use these I was going to use these but these are almost too big so I am going to go with the white dots date dots okay so Monday is going to be the 23rd So yeah, she was super excited to see Grandpa come home. And I do have my air conditioning on up here. I'm upstairs in the craft room and it is, it's not super hot outside, but it's warm. So, you know, heat rises and I am, it's hot in this room. So I needed some air. So I did put my air on. So I'm sorry for the noise. This paper is so soft. And I heard about this company from Robin. Her channel is Springbird, and she orders from them every week because every Wednesday, if you get, I think it's $25 or more, um, if you order $25 or more, you get a free deluxe. Um, 
foil kit and it is beautiful and I sh and I did show that in my haul um, which I will be posting today so be on the lookout for that I'm also going to be posting my final um, fourth and final well not my final but the final Halloween wreath the fourth in my wreath series that should be going up today as well my um, skull wreath I no longer have that. Um, Kristen and Joe and TJ loved it so much that they asked if I would make them one and I just said, well, just take this one. So that is now at their house. <laughs> and they just love it. Cute. Oh, I love that green with this. That just, yeah, perfect. Okay, so then let's go ahead and put our boxes in. Do I want to, I think I'm going to start, um, I'm going to put this morning pumpkin in my Monday box and then we'll just go from there Okay, so I am going to need some washi through here. Okay. So, and I don't think the red is going to look that great. But maybe I'll use this leaf. Because these are just, those colors are so pretty. And see, these are, I'm sure these are fitted for the, they're sized for the, Happy Planner that has the um, header boxes on it. I can almost guarantee you. Let's say, how did I lose my washi cutter and I haven't left the spot? So is everybody ready for Halloween? If you've got little ones, are all the costumes picked and trick or treat routes set and ready to go? I do miss taking my kids trick or treating. John and I always had like When we lived in Florida, we would always take them with my sister-in-laws and their kids. And then, um, <coughs> excuse me, we, um, would always go to like the really nice, 
wealthy communities and trick or treat. My aunt had a house in one actually, so we were always very fortunate to be able to go in her neighborhood. And let me just tell you, those kids racked up the candy. And we would always go like, and we'd get halfway, and we'd always use pillowcases. And we would get halfway, and then we would dump the candy bags to make it look like they didn't have much candy. <laughs> so then, you know, people would feel sorry for them by, you know, because you were halfway through the neighborhood, so, you know they would always get then a little extra at, you know, once you got halfway through the neighborhood. So they would end up with some mega loot. And then when we moved up here, um, my sister-in-law, my oldest sister-in-law stayed in Florida with um, their mom and um, so then we just had Kristen and Michaela and we would always take them just by themselves and they would rack up on the candy because here's these two sweet little girls trick-or-treating all by themselves and people would feel sorry for them and they would load them up with candy. And again, we'd always dump halfway through to make it seem like, you know, they didn't have very much candy. I know, isn't that awful? <laughs> but it worked, so. They got lots of goodies that way. Okay, so now let's go. I think I'm going to use my half boxes in the centers. So let me see. Um, these might fit. Yeah, it's not going to fit there. So let's go. I still have to paint my nails today and I've decided to go with Halloween colors since it's the week of Halloween and I'm going to do purple, a dark purple and then an orange as my accent nail. And I think the girls have the Halloween costumes picked out for the kids. And I know TJ is going to be a ninja. <clears throat> well, that's what he was going to be the last I knew. Um, and Bailey... Oh, I can't remember what Kristen said Bailey was going to be. Um, Oh, what did she say she was going to be? But it was so stinking cute. Um, I 
I don't know. I'll have to post pictures on Instagram, obviously. And then Nolan, I think she said he was going to be the Little Monsters. One of the Little Monsters character. And I know Kristen wanted to dress Bailey up sim you know, in Little Monsters too, but they didn't have any little girl costumes for her, for the Little Monsters. So... She wanted Nolan and Bailey to go as the same little character, you know, cartoon thing. And I can't wait to see, because last year Bailey and Nolan were too little to actually go trick-or-treating. They dressed him up. Michaela... Um, had gotten a Mickey Mouse costume for him at her baby shower and he was the absolute most adorable Mickey Mouse ever and <laughs> um, Bailey just wore a Kristen didn't de dress her up per se she just dressed her up as like um, she just put her in like a t-shirt like my first Halloween and that sort of thing and TJ, I believe, was a Ninja Turtle last year. If I remember correctly. Now, do I have to do... Hmm. I forgot I only ordered the four page kit and that does not come with the headers so Just when I think I've got it down, I throw myself a monkey wrench. boxes and full box checklists and then I think I'm going to use a green and I actually could I'm wondering if this is long enough
Oh, I could put this washi across here. Okay. I am just loving this green leaf washi. Or plant or whatever you want to call it. But it just goes so well with this kit. out leaf blowing in the backyard. This is our second go round with the leaves. We have to blow our leaves like three times before winter. Because it, for some reason, I don't know why, but none of our trees drop the leaves at the same time. <laughs> Go figure, right? Why would it do that? And make life easy. So my mom comes back from Florida on Thursday. And then she's home, I believe, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think she's home then until after my birthday in January. And then she will go back. And then she, not go back, then she goes out west for three months with my great aunt Mickey. And so this will be the first time she'll be gone for so long. Oh my weekend banner. Cute. Love it. Okay, so then we've got these. Um, okay, so And I might use this in my sidebar, so we'll see. So before I do that, I need to
this. here on my sides okay so then let's go I think I'm going to use these here. And then I'm going to use this weekly habit tracker here and I'm going to use this for my meds um, and I am just going to stick this here Okay, so then we're going to take this washi. Okay, so this head of tracker's got to come up again.
Okay. That might look funny, but because it's like the only sticker that's like overlapping the washi, but that's okay. I am still working with these kids trying to figure out, you know, like the best way to use them, that sort of thing. So I'm getting there slowly but surely. I will get it figured out. I'm getting better and better every week. Oh, I like that. Okay, so then I just need to find something to do there. Let me punch my... And I don't know why I like to use the side washi. I guess it's just because to me it just makes it look more finished. Um, I don't know. It's just something I've always done. And you know how once you get in the habit of doing something, it's hard to like not do that anymore. So... Okay, so this sheet is done. Um, all right, so now we need some functionals. Beep. 
got trash day here, but I'm going to put it down here because we like to take it out on Thursday night or Wednesday night. I shouldn't say we, I should say John. And you know what I'm going to use? Yeah, I'm going to use the star glue. So I'm going to put that there. And we're going to put a little cleaner girl here on Tuesday. And then we'll put one on Thursday. are done. I'm going to put I'm going to put my little driver girl because I got to drive to Grand Rapids to get mom on Thursday morning. And Kristen is taking my dad because, of course, mom comes in at 9.30 and dad has to get his, his staples out Thursday morning, both at 9.30. This is for me, for my INR. that a couple times a week and I'm sorry you guys that I did not answer comments this week just with dad I was just so you know like busy getting him taken care of and then I still had Nolan and it was just a crazy week getting the visiting nurses and the physical therapist and just um, it was just like one Thing after another all week so <clears throat> it was busier than normal for me and I do apologize for that guys um, I'm gonna put this the little airplane for mom Thursday okay then we'll do our little coffee gal So payday, and I think I'm going to use, I like this orange, like a yellowy orange, and I've got a corner tag for that, we'll put that there, and we'll put that over there, um, okay, okay, so I'm going to try to do a in with me on Thursday afternoon 
in I know that kind of goes into my days of the week, but that is okay because that is just too stinking cute. Okay, so then we'll put
take those off. I don't like those. No, don't like them. Okay, I think that is it. And if I forget something, I will add it in. Look at how lopsided this is, you guys. <laughs> Too funny. Okay, so there we are. There is my plan with me for the week of October 23rd through the 29th, which is the last full week of October. And I'm going to use this paper clip that I got from run with craft scissors. It was one of her freebies on an order that I did through her Etsy shop. And then I'm just going to continue to use this one just because I love this one. This one also is from Leslie from run with craft scissors. And there we are guys. If you enjoyed this plan with me, please give me a big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and you want to see more of my videos, click that red subscribe that's down below. And don't forget to hit that little bell that's just above that red subscribe and you'll get sent a notification every time I upload a new video. And as always guys, please leave me your comments, questions, or suggestions down below in the comments section because I do love to hear from each and every one of you. And as always guys, from me to you, great big hugs, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.